I'm gonna stop you guys for one second before we start this video and I wanted to say that I have created a template for this bumper so if you are interested in building one yourself I have everything drawn up for you guys so definitely stay tuned for the end of the video I go over everything with what I created kind of how to use it and everything so definitely check the end of the video if you're interested in that today is the day we're gonna build a front bumper for this green truck so we finally got all of our steel in I'm just gonna make a plate bumper we're not doing any tube or anything I really don't like the tube style bumpers for me they're just too wide open you can see right through them and I really like the look of a plate bumper so I'm really excited to get started on this we got a 4x8 sheet I have some steel left over from when I built the flatbed so we're gonna start with that but before I do anything with steel I'm going to mock it up with some cardboard like I always do we take some cardboard bend it cut it make it look how we want it that way when we transfer it to the steel it's a one shot deal we don't have to you know keep cutting steel mess it up recut it and waste a bunch of material so we're going to get some cardboard out kind of design it how i want it and then we can move the steel and cut it all out All right guys, I think I like that for the main center section right there. And then obviously it's gonna angle up to the sides, but what I might do is cut this bottom corner out. That way it's a lot easier to get to these bolts. I'm gonna mount it on the front of this here, and then I may make mounts back up to the factory mounts as well. But for these main mounts down here, I know at least on my truck, they're a pain to get to to reach through the bumper to get to it. So I might cut this out weld some plate in there to mount it but for the most part i think i like that center section so we can move this to the steel now trace it all out mark all the bends and then i'm just going to do since i don't have a metal brake to actually bend this stuff i'm going to use a cutoff wheel and you guys have seen me do it you cut it out halfway through you can bend it and then weld it and that'll save a lot of time finishing the bumper you don't have to weld you don't have to fully weld on the outside and then grind it all smooth the outside will look nice and straight and smooth and then you just weld the inside and you're done so let's transfer this to some steel get it cut out get it bent and then we can figure out what we want to do for mounts All right, we got that bent, so let's set it on the truck. And I wanna figure out my mounts, 
get those tacked on so that we can have this piece mounted on the truck and then we can finish the sides of the bumper and come up into the fender. So let's get this on and see if we can figure out the mounts. There it is guys, got the center section all tacked in place. So I kind of messed up, not really, but either way I was gonna cut this out for these bolts, but I can't get them out right now. So I'm gonna have to cut it off this little section out so I can get those bolts out. And then I was gonna box in this little area here and leave this bottom open, like I said. So it is now the next day guys. So I wanted to kind of bring you along with how long this takes me from your guys's perspective it probably looks like i'm just out here in a day busted out but it's really not i it takes a lot longer than that so yesterday i was out here about two o'clock and i worked till about six so four hours yesterday i had some things to do it's now 12 30 right now so i'm just getting started so we're gonna see what we can get done today and this will probably take a few days especially because i have a lot of other things going on so i'm not out in the shop you know 10 hours a day so either way, let's get the bumper off. We can finish up this mount, then we can get it back on the truck and start working on the sides. Alright guys, moving right along. So I got these all cut out. So you can see bolting this thing on is going to be very simple. You just go right underneath, you ain't gotta reach in through the bumper. And then I got the uh, brackets all tacked in place there. Let's throw this thing on the truck and start mapping out these sides. Right, guys there's my cardboard mock-up i still might do something more with the top to fill this gap in and then 
obviously fill that in there, but I think I like that. And I'm gonna cut this here out of 45. Some of this stuff I'm not gonna be able to bend. I think I'll just, uh, I think I might just bend these two here. And then this one here I'll just have to cut separately and weld in along with obviously the end cap. So let's get this transferred over to some steel and get cutting and bending. Moment of truth, guys. Let's see if this thing lines up. Holy crap, guys, this thing fits a lot better than I thought it would. So you can see it's a little bit low here. I gotta bend that top down just a little bit and these should be pretty close to lined up. That might just need a little bit of trimming. I got this at zero, pretty much zero degrees, 0.1. So it looks like it's pitched up a little bit. So I might have to grind this area here just to bring that down to level. But honestly, I'm gonna see how it looks with both sides on if I do pitch it up because there is the gap here, which is a lot smaller there than there. So it might actually look better if the whole thing's pitched up just a little bit. Got it fitting really good. And it's pitched up this way about two degrees, which when I stand back and look at it, I actually like it because this gap, like I said, is bigger here than in the middle of the grill. So instead of having to fill this in with something, I actually kind of like the look of that angled up. And I got about a quarter inch here. So let's get the other side cut, see if we can match this angle up. And if, that, if that's all good, then we can tack this thing together and cut these bottom and the sides. All right guys, you can see there, I beveled the edges of the plate, and then I also beveled this too, so that when we weld it, there's basically a valley for the weld to sit into, and then it's a lot easier and a lot stronger once you grind it all off flat and smooth. You still got weld in between the two joints, so those are ready to go on. We're gonna use the magnetic uh, little level there get them set at equal, I think it was like two degrees or a little over two degrees up, which I really like that look actually. So we're gonna match both sides at two degrees. And then we also have to pay attention to, you know, how far out it is from here. So we gotta just lightly tack it. And then there, there might be some adjustments to make as we tack it in there, and get it perfectly straight and aligned. So let's get to work. Coming together guys, got these sides tacked on. So next what I'm gonna do is get the, basically the end cap, this piece here. Gotta add an eighth to that side. So let's cut two of these. We'll tack those on.
All right, we got the sides on, so I'm gonna call it a night right here. It's getting pretty late. It's now 7.30, so from, what, 12.30, I believe, this morning. So seven hours just to get these two sides done, which that seems like a lot. Well, I guess I did do some of the mounts and stuff, but that seems like a long time just to get those, but I'm taking my time with it, making sure my cuts are in the right spot. All my lines line up with these with that top rail right here and then just making sure the fit up is good and everything lines up everything is so far everything is lining up perfectly it's straight and square and level so i'm taking my time doing it right because i've learned the hard way many many times if you're rushing a project you end up redoing it so that's why it's kind of taking a lot longer and then also you know obviously the tools i have so we'll get out here tomorrow morning and cut these bottom triangles fill in this area here i'll probably plate here and then we really could pull the bumper off and start fully welding it weld in all the mounts and everything and start finishing all these outer welds all right guys it is now day three it is 8 30 so let's get to work we gotta get that bottom piece in and then kind of wrap those sides around and fill that in and i'm still waiting for some lights and stuff so to cut all the holes for that i kind of want to wait till i have the lights here so that i can make sure all the holes are the right size and everything so we can get this thing finished up and start welding on it. There we go guys, got all these pieces tacked in place. So that's all covered up here. And then got a little end cap on the bottom there or on the back. So looking good, I'm really, really liking the look of this. I think once we cut those angles off of the, uh, kind of close to the mount right down here, cut that at an angle there where that line is, I think that'll really tie it in. To me right now that stands out. With all the angles and that just being square, that really stands out. So once we trim that, I think that'll flow together good. So I guess the next step, we can pull the bumper off, trim those pieces, and just start welding this thing together. All right guys, we got the bumper off and fully tacked up, ready to start welding. So if you guys like this bumper, like the design and wanna build one yourself, I'm actually gonna be making a set of plans for this bumper. So what I'm working on now is this bumper is basically built around a inch and a half body lift. I feel like the majority of you guys probably don't have a body lift. So what I'm trying to mock up is to basically take the body lift out. So really, all we really need to do is move the mounting point of where it bolts onto the frame and then we can adjust a few angles there and I'll kind of show you guys right here. So I know this looks really ghetto, but I got basically the mount here, which is raised up an inch and a half. So essentially all you really need to do to adjust for body lift is move your mount obviously where you need it. And then this angle here, you'll have to uh, bend up. So I figured with going from an inch and a half body lift to no body lift at all. This is 50 degrees right here. Um, when you raise this mount up an inch and a half, this is now 60 degrees. This bracket here is now changed because of the change in this angle here. So I actually will have the plans for the no body lift mounting system, but without actually taking this entire bumper apart and completely rebuilding this bottom section to get it 100% dialed in. There may be small adjustments you have to make, but I feel like I'm getting it really close. So you'll have to change this angle here. You'll have to slightly alter this bracket. This L-shaped 90 right here will basically stay the same other than when you bring this up, this is gonna kick back more. So this will hit the frame. So you need to trim this back about an inch 
So then to get this to line up with the plate on the bottom here, it needs to be about a quarter inch longer. And then the only other thing you need to change is this triangle piece here. So it'll be tilted up a little bit more. So essentially you'll just have to grind a couple degrees off of the inside of this to get it to line back up with that. So it really shouldn't be any more work to take this and make it fit a truck that doesn't have a body lift. If you're already building it, obviously now that it's already built, I'll have to change a lot. But if you're building it from scratch, really all you gotta do is set your mount and then without even building any of this, you just bolt your mount onto the frame. You can set the bumper up onto the truck tack it onto the mounts and then build all this. But my plans for the no body lift should be really, really close. So now that we're ready to go, I think what I'm gonna do is brace, just, just tack a little piece in from the mount up to here so that when I weld all these inside joints here, it doesn't pull the bumper down. And then I may also get something from here down to here so that when I weld all this in, the sides stay exactly where they're supposed to be. So just a little preventative deal just to keep this bumper nice and straight and square where it is right now because it fits really, really good. All right guys, I got the whole exterior of the bumper welded up and I decided I'm going to beef up the mount. So I cut these out here. So these are just gonna weld in right in there and that'll help stiffen up the entire bumper. Kind of help spread out the weight of the actual mount into the whole bumper since the mount is right off the bottom of the bumper. I kind of wanted the mount to run all the way up. So I decided why not make it beefy? So I cut those out so we can tack these in place and then we got to weld the inside of all these seams that we bent and then we should be pretty much good to go. All right guys, got this thing fully welded up. Still gotta grind it all, but I put it back on the truck just to make sure everything fits like it should. So we still got our gaps. It, I know it moved a little bit. This was right about flush. And even with my supports in there, it still moved, but I'm perfectly okay with that it only budged out maybe a quarter inch so everywhere else looks really good but it does need another mount so i'm gonna be building a bracket from here up to the bumper and this is kind of what i built so far so this is just gonna bolt on there and then i'll weld it on to the inside of the bumper so we'll grab some quarter inch plate and cut this one out or two of these for each side that should stiffen it up, give it one more mounting point farther out. Right, guys i got these other two mounts completely burned in so definitely stiffened up the bumper a lot so if you're going to build one i definitely put some mounts right there so next thing i want to do is i got my lights in so i'm going to mount these i already marked it all out so i got it marked out here and here so let's cut these holes out and then we'll just have to make a little simple bracket to bolt on the light and should be good
All right guys, day three is complete. It is 6.30 right now, so that's 10 hours, but I did take a few breaks, so we'll call it eight hours of work today. So we got this bumper pretty much ready to go. We still have to grind some of the outside welds down and smooth those all out. So I just welded in these little brackets here to mount the pods on. And quick tip for you guys, I'm sure most of you know, but when you weld something, it usually pulls the way you're welding. So you've seen me brace stuff. So just grab a piece of scrap steel and just tack it on lightly. And that's usually enough to hold it unless you're doing a lot of welding and put a lot of heat into it. Just a couple light tacks will hold it in place and then wait till it completely cools off. You'll pull this off and it'll be exactly where you need it. So we'll get out here tomorrow morning and grind. I already started a little bit on this side. You can see I got this edge ground out just to see how it look and everything's looking really good. So we got to get on this side and grind all these seams nice and flat and smooth. And then we have to do mount our blinkers. So I picked up these little amber LED blinkers. Still got to figure out where I want to mount them, but we'll drill some holes in the bumper for that. We'll mount the lights on. So I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, boys, now the next day. So I am going to get these blinkers mounted up and I decided to put them right here. I already got it marked out. So we're going to put them right on the side, sticking up like that. And once it's wrapped line black, I think this will kind of blend in and you probably won't, it won't stick out like a sore thumb. All right, blinkers are in, looking good. So last thing we need to do is finish grinding all these seams out, like I said. So this side is most of the way done. I was just dinking around and got it all smoothed out. So we got a couple other welds here and then this whole side really needs to be smoothed out. There it is, we got all these welds ground down nice and smooth came out really nice so before I end this video I want to throw these lights in throw the blinkers on and we'll throw it on the truck I'll give you guys one last look before I let you go There it is on the truck guys. So we still got to paint it obviously. I did buy some clevis mounts. I think I'm gonna mount right here, right on the front side of where that main bracket comes up. I'm gonna weld the clevises on there. So it's nice and strong. I just haven't got them yet. I wouldn't make them myself, but I just don't have any really thick steel. I think they're like an inch thick. So waiting for those, we're gonna weld it on here. We got to drill some holes in for the license plate, but that is minor details. The next video, we'll get these welded in. We'll get this whole thing sanded. We're gonna do a coat of epoxy primer and then I'm gonna wrap your line it black. So definitely stay tuned for the next video to see the finished product. That is a wrap for this one, guys. So a total of three days and roughly 20 hours to get this bumper where it is right now. So to be honest with you guys, the most time spent on this bumper was really designing it with all that cardboard and just getting it to look how I want it to look. But now that it's all done, you could probably build this in half the time if you took my plans and you built it with that. All right guys, I am coming at you about two weeks later. I finally finished these plans, these templates for the bumper. You know, when I started doing this, I figured it'd take a few days. I am now about two weeks into it and we finally got our final prints in. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I have and how simple this is gonna be for you guys. So this is the template I have. Obviously, this isn't a final one. I cut some stuff out of it to double check the measurements on. So this is all printed up life size, the size that it needs to be. So really all you have to do is cut these out stick them on your steel and trace them and then you're you're cutting steel so this takes out so much time and this also has all your bends you need so obviously the three bends on there the sides and then 
I have holes. These There's two main mounts that I had cut out. They also have holes with dimensions and everything. And I have a complete write-up on this as well that you'll be getting. So the biggest reason I wanted to give you guys a templates versus just a CAD file is the time it's gonna save you measuring everything out and drawing it up. So even different tools measure differently, different protractors, you know, they could be a degree or two off and it's gonna screw everything up. So that's why I put the time in to make this template, dial it in. I've had, like I said, about two weeks into this template. It sounds stupid, I thought it was gonna take, you know, a couple days, bust it out real quick, but it is a lot more technical than I thought. So we got it dialed in anyway, so we are ready to go. So I also made up basically the instructions for this bumper. So I have the material list, the tools you'll be needing, and then your instructions on kind of how to build it and the steps to take. And then I also have some 3D images on there as well. So kind of guide you guys along with building it. I don't know how much more simple I can make it. This is gonna be the easiest bumper you'll ever build yourself. So if you guys wanna check this out, head over to avrcustoms.com. It's up on the site if you wanna check it out. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.